They say the child look like Nathaniel Ebasi. I feel so bad about that. What is a baby doing on social media? When Moses was born, he was hidden. Why are we exposing our own? Can you imagine a little boy have not even grown up? He's facing crisis. They are things you don't put on social media. The pride of life is a great killer. So we should not embrace the system of this world. Apostle Tarkham kickstarts this video by lamenting over the state of the church and its synchronicity to the world system. We now have people in church looking for things like fame that the people of the world are looking for. For us in the kingdom of God, dying to the flesh and worldly pleasures is our pattern for living. You see certain things that ought not to happen, happen in the church because we are not seeking what the world is seeking. We are seeking what we should not seek. Things that Jesus never sought for, we are looking for it. Jesus never sought for fame, but today is the famous person on the face of the earth. For generations, Jesus has not lost his fame in any age. But when he was here on earth, when fame hit him, the Bible said the Greeks came. came. If he was in our days, he would have taken photo with the Greeks and put it on social media. The Greeks came and he told Philip, mm -mm, I didn't come for all these ones except a seed of comforts and die. So it means for us in the kingdom, dying is our pattern for living. Dying to the flesh, dying to the desires of this world, and whatever the world is looking for. I have come to realize nobody dies daily that will not be known. Because the earth is looking for a fragrance that will come from your dying. Is someone hearing me? The sick person is looking for a fragrance that will come from your dying. When that fragrance is called healing. The oppressed person is looking for a fragrance that will come from your dying. That fragrance is called deliverance. So the world is looking for things that will come out from the dying of the faithful. Laying down their lives on daily basis, laying down their passions, their kind of desires, laying down everything. So once you pass through that dying process, the fragrance will come out of it and it will impact the life of somebody and, impact, and the life of another person, the life of another person. So you'll be the one running away from fame. However, in the midst of all that is happening in the church system, God has an agenda that is buried in the depths of intimacy with him. And to perfect his bride, Jesus raises apostolic voices to address various defects and spots to make the garment of the bride white. Apostolic mantles are global mantles that Jesus uses to give direction to the elects. Apostle puts it better. In the midst of this craze, this, these things that are happening, God have an agenda. Are you understanding? God have an agenda. It's not in the surface of religion. Is in the depth of relationship with God. He has an agenda and what Isaiah said many years ago, whom shall I send and who will go for us, is still sounding in the realm of the spirit. Are you understanding me? When we take our apostolic authority to address certain things happening that we are seeing across the nations, it's because apostolic mantles are global mantles. They are not mantles for a local place. You get my point? So they are God's global mantles that he controls things that happen around the globe. And he addresses things because if God is not addressing global happenings, the elect will lack a direction of where to follow. The elect will be cut off in between the activities because where there is no voice, the elect will be gasping for spiritual breath. A normal dead Christian can survive where there is no voice of God. But, but an elect of Christ... Where there's no voice of God, they have no energy. Where there's no voice of God, they have no momentum. Where there's no voice of God, they have no life to live. That's why the Bible says, man shall not live by bread alone, by every word. So the voice of the master is what gives the elect life. The voice of the master is what gives the elect faith. It's what gives the elect the momentum to even stay alive. Because there are a lot of things that happen that discourages the elect because of their faith because of their sacrifice so but they need the voice of God to keep moving so if God don't bring his voice in the midst of events that are happening and stuff like that the elect could be caught up in between it is sad that most people in the charismatic have nosedived in their faith 
They now take materialism and fame to be the essence of faith. They take to social media to show off their achievements. That's the pride of life. This is where Apostle comments on the sad allegations currently on social media of Mercy Chinwo's baby looking like Nathaniel Bassey. When Moses was born, her parents hid him because they sensed he was a child of destiny. But our modern parents post their little babies on social media. Apostle expresses his grief over the ongoing saga. I thought you believe it or not, the church, the way it is constituted today, is why the charismatic evangelical church and Pentecostal stuff, we seem to have no dive completely. We seem to have really, really made materialism the, the essence of the faith that if you don't get this and you don't get that, you are not in the faith. So people had put everything on social media. They buy this car, they put, they give back to this child, they put on social media. Like the event happened right now about the one who gave back to a child. Is it Messi Chiwe? And uh, they say the child looked like Nathaniel Bassi. Are you, are you seeing the funny thing that's happened on social media? I, I feel so bad about that because I said to myself, why not you hide your child in the room? When Moses was born, he was hidden. He was hidden. Why are we exposing our own? If you have not exposed, the, the, can you imagine a little boy have not even grown up, he's facing crisis. And now matters are in court in Abuja. They have picked the boys. They are going in court. I, I just, I just, I say, look at you created it. The pride of life. The pride of life. That's what is killing the church today. The pride of life. What is a baby doing on social media? The pride of life. Whenever you embrace the systems of this world, you get infected with the pride of life. That's why the things that our mothers kept discreet. For example, a baby bump, you will shamelessly post them on social media. You see, the pride of life is a great killer. A child of God should be on social media majorly to advance the kingdom of God. The people of this world who are looking for fame and keeping their fame, use their babies. Somebody will be pregnant alone, they carry their tummy and put on social media. There's a name they call it. You guys are lucky that witches have become weak. <laughs> they have become weak in the days of <laughs> you guys are lucky that the witches that we have today have become weak they are no longer like the ones of our great grandfather the ones that can turn to elephant in the afternoon they will just put their hand on Facebook and remove the child like this from the womb and eat the child things that our mothers hit I didn't know for instance I didn't know when my mother was pregnant for our last born in fact the day she even delivered we didn't know it was delivery because we went to, to church. We came back and we saw a baby. And we now asked, where did the baby come from? That was how discreet our mothers were. That was why you won't hear infant mortality. You don't hear all these things happening. Because, listen, the pride of life is a great killer. So we should not embrace the system of this world. For me... A child of God being on social media to advance the gospel of the kingdom. Not to put every thing of your privacy. You do one little wedding. Show this photo. Show. At this point, Apostle reveals to us what God revealed to him about Moses' bliss and his worries about this singer. Here is what God revealed to him. I'm just pitying this guy Moses' bliss. May God help him. Because all this little, little piece of thing, I don't know who they... Who, if they have fathers, you know why I'm talking? Because the Lord said to me about Moses' bliss, I've not revealed this before. He said to me, I look at him, I'm not saying he's perfect in whatever, but there's a youth generation today that is being captured by guys who are in advanced free fraud, some are being captured by guys in secular music and all of that stuff. The Lord said to me, I raised him up to influence a group of these ones to return back to me. You get my point? That's what he said. I raised him up. I blessed him to influence this youth. And either you believe or not, go and check what's happening in Nigeria. I don't know about Kenya. Moses Bliss control one of the greatest influence of youth as we speak now. Now, if there's no apostolic voice coming to correct certain things, 
the youth will copy everything. You get my point? There are things you don't put on social media. There are things you don't put on social media. But Apostle has a concern. Do these people have fathers to guide them on what to do and not what to do? There are certain warfare one attracts when they have the pride of life. This and much more will be shared by Apostle on Point Blank. It will be aired on Friday, 12th of April, 2024 at 8 p.m. East African time on the Morning Cloud television and on Apostle Tarkham's YouTube channel. Don't miss it. Sometimes I ask myself, does these people have fathers? It's your father that will tell you, don't open your mouth like this when you are talking. It's your father that will guide you as a woman when you are walking, don't walk like this. Do they have fathers that are even guiding them? on what how to behave on, on, the, on the social media space. You see, I'm going to address on Friday the kind of warfare you face when you have the pride of life. It may not come now. It's going to come. It's going to come. What you attract to your life. And when that thing hits you, no prayer will help you. Except you go back to undo what you have done. So I said to myself, when all, all these people are shouting, the child is not an embarrassing child, whatever. You, you see, if they have not put the poor child on social media, who will talk about it? Do you know that when children are born, they can resemble anybody? That does not mean the person that have that got the woman pregnant. You get my point? They can't save anybody. But when they grow, they take their shape. But if you have hidden your child like Moses, how can we have the Bible and we are doing other things? People are obeying different things in their lives. I mean church people. They are obeying. Some are obeying fame, fortune, likes, followers. Oh, I, need, I hit two billion followers. Oh, this one hit two billion likes. This one hit two billion views. That is what these guys are pursuing. Whenever you obey the flesh, you sink or destroy your impact. And the world is passing away, and the lust of it. But he who does the will of God abides forever. Whenever you obey what is passing away, what God has blessed you with will pass away. If you obey your flesh, you will sink. Everybody who have obeyed their flesh, they always die before their time. Everybody who have obeyed their flesh, who did not die before their time, they destroyed their impact in God's kingdom. The second thing you should not obey is the world. Like the issues we are addressing about the pride of life is people going through the direction of this world. We should never obey the world. Because the Bible says the world is passing away. Is somebody hearing me? And funny enough, these two things I've mentioned, they have some of the loudest voices that they send to us. Like your flesh is not in Nakuru, your flesh is not in Mombasa, your flesh is with you. Your flesh is not in the US. Your flesh is not that far off. The button about the flesh, wherever you go, it follows you. You are sleeping, it's there. You cannot separate yourself with, from your flesh. So it's the loudest voice. And it, give, it brings the greatest battle. Are you understanding me? It brings the greatest battle. So the world, the Bible says it is passing away. When you obey what is passing away, you pass away. When you obey what is passing away, your glory pass away. What God has blessed you will pass away. Apostle concludes by telling us why most gospel artists don't last for long and their songs get forgotten and easily pass away. A song you birth in the spirit will not pass away if you remain in the spirit. If you look at especially the gospel artists, how many of them have lasted for 30 years? We can't find. Check the guys that God was really using like 15 years ago with wonderful songs. You can't hear them again today. Like I told you the other day, all that matters when it came, everybody was singing it. Today it like disappeared. You now ask yourself, why are these things not enduring? Why are they passing away? Why are these songs passing away? I hear songs like, On a hill, far away, Stood on a rugged cross, The emblem of suffering, 
and shame, they can't pass away. Why? Because those who bat those babies were not sold to the world. Those songs were babies, my friend. They were prophetic babies that are useful in every generation. So when God, when, when you were in the spirit and you bring forth a baby, the day you, you slip into the world system, it begins to pass away. If you are going to sing in God's kingdom this end time, a song you bat in the spirit will not pass away if you remain in the spirit. Thanks for watching.